here in TechSmart, Wednesday at 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman. Ukraine's president tells the British Parliament, we will not give up, we will not lose, we will fight to the end. Plus, the U.S. bans Russian crude oil. We'll have the latest coming up. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Due to the war in Ukraine, this morning President Biden warned American consumers that we will continue to pay higher prices for gas. Experts say the cost of airfare will climb next. KTLA's David Lazarus will join us to explain. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian. We are live in Anaheim at the Honda Center where Officer Nicholas Vela with the Huntington Beach Police Department is being honored today. A memorial for the fallen officer coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Child care isn't exempt from the inflation increase. Why parents are footing more money for babysitters. We'll explain. You, you need more money for babysitters. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New at 10 o'clock here, the BBC says they will resume broadcasting from Moscow. What does this portend for other media outlets? We'll talk about that. Back to Vegas for the ACMs and that big Oscar lunch. And of course, the key question, how was the food? We'll talk about it coming up. Another beautiful day starting out in Southern California. Clear skies and the temperatures warming up very nicely today. We expect uh, most of the highs in the upper 60s and the low 70s. 70 for the coastal areas. Downtown Los Angeles, 69, 74 in San Fernando Valley, 65 in the high desert, Inland Empire, 72 in Orange County, Inland, up to 73 degrees. Frank and Jessica, back to you. And to our breaking news here, the president of Ukraine has addressed the UK parliament this morning on the terror from the Russian shelling of his people. He says more than 50 children have been killed since the war began nearly two weeks ago. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom now with more. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Frank. Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky making a defiant speech this morning. He spoke by Zoom to the British parliament. We 